Sydney Fisher was in the third class of mentees. I got to know her working through the Relief Kitchen in Cincinnati. Doing the relief work really inspired her to give back to the community, and she is now actually a transformation chef at La Soup. She works with sustainability, really food rescue, and turning it into a nourishing meal for the community. So, we're here at La Soup. I'm so excited. I have admired this organization for many, many years, and I cannot believe how much it's grown. So tell me, what do you do here? I'm a transformed chef right now, primarily making soups. The biggest thing, though, is to provide food for people in need with food insecurity. We get all different kinds of expired goods. Kroger, Whole Foods, Trader Joe's, they all come bring us this product. We take it and we'll either make a soup and transform it or we give it to local communities. We make about 500 meals a week in a matter of two hours. What does it mean to you to see these sustainable meals that are being rescued going out to people in the community? There's an abundance to see how much food could potentially have gone to waste without this facility. It's above and beyond my expectations of what I thought I was getting into. It's an education course. I'm still learning every day too. The Lee Initiative taught me that like 10 people can make such a big difference. It's crazy what teamwork and a group of people that, that care can do. Megan White was in the third class of Lee Initiative Mentee. She really became inspired by attending workshops and working with her mentor in LA. She got into fermentation, so she is currently starting her own miso company and she is working with Urban Stead Cheese as a cheesemaker. I started about four months ago. Um, it's called Urban Stead because we make cheese here in the city instead of on a homestead. We make Gouda, Tome, Cork, and Cheddar here right now. I heard you just won an award for your cheddar? Yeah, yeah, second best in uh, the United States. So I know that you've always worked in fermentation and with miso. What, what drew you to that line of work? I started with kombucha um, and fell in love with fermentation from there. How have things been going since you left the Lee Initiative? It's really great to see other empowering women uplifting each other. And I would definitely say it was a good boost of my confidence. Everyone was so willing to cheer you on and support you. And then you can do that for somebody else. So were you learning a lot about sourcing and sustainability. Sustainability has always been really important to me. Utilizing as much as you can, right? And what you can't utilize, giving back. So here we can't always utilize our way, but we give it to a local pig farmer and she comes in, takes the way, feeds her pigs, and then there's a restaurant right up the street who takes her pigs and makes burgers with them and uses our cheese on his pig burgers. So it's just like a full circle in the community here. Do you see yourself hosting one of the continuing education classes? Oh, I'd love to. I never thought teaching would be something I'd want to do, um, but seeing how there's so many people out there that don't really know how fermentation works and how you can utilize so many different things, it's a great skill to have. Thank you so much for having us here today. 